Welcome to part 2. Now Amazon Kingi is against the handshake or rather what he has said he has said he does not understand what the handshake is all about. Now 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 this is very strange. I mean if Chris Kumekucha or anybody else said they don't understand the handshake it would be understandable. But who is Amazon Kingi? Amazon Kingi is a very very senior member within the ODM hierarchy. Is also very close to the ODM high command. Therefore, there is no way Kingi can say he does not understand the handshake. How? How does he not understand the handshake? How, when he has got so much more information than the rest of us do not have about that same handshake? Now you know politicians usually choose their words very very carefully. And the nature of politics is such that they don't really say things the way they are. And that is one of the reasons why I place so much emphasis on reading body language. When a politician talks, I read the body language and the body language to me is much more important than what comes out of their mouth. And in a vast majority of the cases, their body language says something that is the exact opposite of what they are actually saying with their mouths. And so what is Governor Amazon Kingi really saying about the handshake? Now usually, when you say you don't understand something, what you're actually saying is that thing will not work. I have a very strong suspicion that this is exactly what Governor Kingi of Kilifi is telling us. And bear in mind, indeed never forget that he knows more than we know. Now I'm not sure if we all realize the gravity of the, of the situation, the gravity of this position that uh, Governor King has taken. Remember Dr. David Ndi? Yeah, uh, the man of the People's Assembly. He was very busy constituting those uh, People's Assemblies all over the country. But after the handshake he stopped. After the handshake, Dr. David Ndi went quiet. After the handshake, David Ndi has done a lot of things to show us evidence that is for the handshake, that he understands the handshake. And in the statement he released, yeah, in disbanding the, the people's assemblies, he said that uh, the long and short of what he said is that the handshake should be given a chance. And despite everything that has happened, a lot of threatening things towards the handshake, a lot of threatening things towards the ideals for which Dr. David D stands for, uh, the good professor has remained quiet. D has not done or said anything that uh, would seem to want to upset the apple cut or would even criticize the handshake. He has just gone quiet. But here we have Governor Amazon Kingi saying he does not understand the handshake. And at the same time, the joint rallies with Ali Hassan Joe have stopped. The joint very spectacular gigs by the two, yeah, in rallies and uh, in front of many people, have stopped. What? Well, I think the writing should be very clearly on the wall. Kingi does not believe in the handshake. Kingi, with his privilege, privileged information on exactly what is happening behind the scenes, does not believe in the handshake. He does not seem to believe that the handshake will survive. Now, now, that is very, very telling. And so, folks, back to what I started with. We have to consider that which we cannot bear to consider. We have to consider that which some of us do not want to consider. And what is this? Well, it's a collapse of the handshake, an overturn of the handshake. The handshake being no more and so later today a video will go up discussing exactly that the scenario the environment what we can possibly expect and prepare ourselves for in case the handshake is not there make sure you look out for that video until next time this is chris kumekucha